Good day students. In this group, we're going to be going over how to solve systems of um, clinics algebraically. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. So for uh, problem one, <clears throat> we're to solve the system, system of equations. All right, the, manner, the method that we're going to use to solve the system of equations um, is via algebraic means to solve the systems algebraically. All right, and then the systems that we're dealing with are y squared plus 8x minus 4y minus 36 equals 0 and 8x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 4y minus 108 equals 0. Okay, so these are the system of um, equations we're going to solve algebraically. Now what's unique here is you notice that we have squares here. So these are not lines. These are not linear equations. These are um, conic equations. The first uh, conic is the equation of a parabola because we have only one of the variables being squared. The second conic, we have two squares and a plus. And the coefficients are different, so this is an ellipse. So if you think about the intersection of an ellipse and a parabola, you can have the maximum of four solutions. You can have two solutions, or you can have no solutions, where there are basically no intersections. All right. So um, let me give you a visual as to what I'm talking about. All right. So here we have two clinics. Well, one that's not applicable here is um, this, of this orientation. So uh, we have two clinics. We have an ellipse and a parabola. Now, what are the possible ways um, that they can intersect uh, with one another? So we can have this situation, no intersection. You have zero solutions. You can have an intersection like this where you have two solutions. Or you can have an intersection like this where you have four um, solutions. All right. So what we're looking at is for the points where they intersect. The intersection points are um, your solutions, the coordinates of those points. So let's uh, go ahead and solve this system. Remember, we can have uh, no solution, two solutions, or four solutions maximum. Okay. So how do we solve this um, system of conic equations? Well, we can solve this by um, elimination. If you notice, uh, the coefficients of the y square match, the coefficients of the x match, and the coefficients of the y match also. So it's easy to create opposites. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I can eliminate these three terms in just one step by multiplying this equation by negative 1. All right? So when we do so, uh, we're going to get the sys. Uh, we're going to get the um, system. The first one stays. The one on top stays the same. Y square plus eight x minus four y minus thirty six equals zero. The second one, all the signs change. So we have negative eight x square minus y square minus eight x plus four y plus one o eight equals zero. Now all the signs have changed. Uh, if we combine them linearly, uh, you notice that the cancellation action we talked about will happen. So we have negative 8x squared. These ones add up to 0, 0, 0. And then when you compute this sum right here, you end up with uh, positive 72 equals 0. OK? This is positive. So let's bring it together, negative 8x squared plus 72 equals 0. So how do we solve this resulting quadratic equation? Um, let's get x squared isolated, subtract 72 from both sides. You have 8x squared equals negative 72. Divide both sides by 8, negative 8. You have x squared equals 9. And then you take the square root of both sides. And you have x equals plus or minus 3. Okay? Alright, now we have um, the x values for our solutions. 
Now let's um, go ahead and look for the y values. All right, so we're going to start with uh, setting x equals to negative 3. So for x equals negative 3, what we're going to do is take um, this, this x value and substitute it in, uh, let's put it in the first equation since it's simpler than the second equation. You have fewer x's here, so it's easier to work with. Okay, so for x equals 3, we're going to end up with the quadratic equation y squared plus 8. Instead of x here, we're going to put in negative 3. All right? Negative 3, the, uh, so one of the solutions we got uh, here, we're plugging it into the first equation. Negative 4y minus 36 equals 0. All right, so whenever you find one variable and you plug it into a conic equation, you will always end up with uh, a, quad with a uh, quadratic equation, or in the case of an ellipse of a parabola, it could be a linear equation, okay? So let's um, write this resulting uh, quadratic equation in standard form by simplifying terms. We have y squared plus 24, actually it's minus 24, because plus times is a minus is minus, minus 24, minus 4y, minus 36 equals 0. So we combine like terms, negative 24 and negative 36. We'll have y squared minus 4y minus 60 equals 0. Now we can solve this quadratic equation by grouping, um, by factorization. So let's make the x game. <coughs> AC goes on the top. AC is negative 60. B is negative 4. The two numbers that work here that multiply to give you negative 6 and add to give you 4 are 6 and negative 10. Okay? <clears throat> now let's plug in these values. Well, since the coefficient of uh, y squared is 1, we can jump the factoring by grouping and just factor this as y plus 6 times y minus 10 equals zero. We're just plug in these two values here that we generated into the factored form. So using the zero product property, we have y plus six equals zero and y minus 10 equals zero. If you solve the first one, you get negative six. If you solve the second one, you get 10. Okay, so the first um, solutions that we have are going to be negative 3. Remember, x was negative 3. When x was negative 3, we had two y values, na namely negative 6 for the first one, and then 10 for the second one. So these two points are, your, are the solutions to um, the first pair of intersections. So what do we do next? Well, we remember that we had two values for x. We had x equals negative 3 and positive 3. So we're going to carry out the same process that we executed here for x equals 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> we're plugging 3 into the same equation. This one right here, uh, plugging in, substituting 3 for x in that equation. So that's going to give us y squared plus 8. Instead of x, it's going to be 8 times 3 um, minus 4y minus 36 zero. So it's the same as this one right here. So let's go ahead and um, express this in uh, standard form. y squared plus 24 minus 4y minus 36 equals zero. In standard form we have y squared minus 4y combined 24, positive 24 and negative 36 will get um, negative 12 equals zero. So we're going to solve the resulting quadratic equation the same way we did the other one, just fact using um, factorization by grouping. Um, AC is negative 12, B is negative 4. The two numbers that work are negative 6 and 2, so we have y minus 6 times y plus 2 equals zero. Using the zero product property, y minus 6 is equal to 0, y plus 2 is equal to 0. This follows that y is equal to 6, and y is equal to negative 2. This is for when x is 3, so we also have 3, comma 6, 
and uh, 3 comma negative 2. So our solutions are, solutions are negative 3, negative 6, negative 3, 10, 3, 6, and 3, negative 2. So what do these points mean? These points are the points where the parabola intersects with the ellipse. Okay, so there goes the solution uh, to your system of um, conics. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates and other cool clips such as this. And do give us a thumbs up if you like this presentation. We appreciate it. More clips can be found on markgutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.